For demonstrating this statement, we will just take in a number as input and we will tell whether that number is positive or negative. And to make this simple, we'll assume that zero is a positive number. So we'll need to input the number. with the user prompt of enter a number. The next thing we'll need here is an if statement to decide if that number is positive or negative. So we'll put in our if. And our condition will read if the number is greater than or equal to zero If that is true, then we'll output the number is positive. And there's only one other possible outcome. If the number is not positive, it must be negative. We don't even have to check for that because if it's not positive, if it doesn't go on the true side, then it falls under the else or the false statement. So we'll add an output there just to say the number is negative. And we should test this for each condition. So we should run this and use a nice positive test value. Let's say 5. 5 is positive. And we'll run it one more time with a negative number and let's say negative 9 and it should pop up and say negative 9 is negative okay wouldn't hurt uh, in your case to test one more like the boundary condition is 0 does it really register positive um, yes it does uh, because we put the greater than or equal to here if we had put just greater than it would count 0 as a negative number so you have to be really careful about your test condition um, again, we've got two possible outcomes here, so we only need one test um, because the, the other condition will be handled by the else. And that's our simple 